Oh. All right, so chapter eight, it's all about one electron, okay? The only time they mention more than one electron is the last section in the chapter, so I think 10 to 12, where you do electron configuration. Otherwise, it's all about one electron, and the whole concept when you have very small entities is quantum mechanics. The idea behind quantum mechanics is that energy is discrete. It is not continuous. There are fixed values of energy that are possible. Where old school ideas with classical mechanics is that energy could be any value. It's not fixed. Okay, so there are a couple ideas that help point this out to us. One is called, and there, I'm only going to mention a couple, the ones you asked me about, the photoelectric effect. This, so the first half of chapter 8, if you didn't realize, it was giving you... Con different concepts that pushed us towards the idea of quantum mechanics. So the book was trying to uh, persuade and woo you to believe in quantum mechanics. The first one was uh, the photoelectric effect. The main idea here is if you have a block of metal, so this is a metal, metals have lots of electrons, and you shine some uh, energy in in the form of light, okay, so there's some energy coming in here, E equals H nu, and Einstein was the first person to figure this out. You have to get above a threshold energy before you pop off electrons. Okay, so there has to be some minimum energy, has to be uh, enough to meet the binding energy of the electrons, or what's called in the book the work fun function of the electrons. When it gets high enough, then electrons start coming off. And that's the idea of quantum mechanics. Not any energy is going to do it. You need to be above a fixed energy level to do so. Now, if it's even more, then that, uh, it, that extra energy goes into kinetic energy. But that's the idea. You need some threshold energy in order to get these electrons off because it's a fixed energy level. That's the photoelectric effect. Let's do de Broglie next. De Broglie. De Broglie uh, came up with this other concept to say that... Uh, any small entity is both a particle uh, and a wave. So light even is considered a particle even though it has no mass. And electrons are more our subject of interest in this chapter, but it's both uh, a, a wave and electrons. So when we do experiments, sometimes in labs, sometimes electrons will decide to act as a wave and sometimes they'll decide to act uh, as a particle. It just depends how they're feeling that day, I guess. So de Broglie uh, even came up with an equation, and uh, let's see if I can remember it. Lambda equals h over mu. I believe that's it. Oh. You can check me at home, though, later. Lambda equals h over mu. The, here is the wave side. Okay? As a wave, it has some wavelength, and here's the particle side. Okay, and this is also can be a test question as far as plug and chug. It's really plug and chug. The mass is usually an electron unless they state otherwise. Usually the mass is, if it's a subatomic particle, we're doing, dealing with electrons. So, uh, if you have some velocity and they ask you about wavelength, it's got to be this question. Or vice versa. If they give you a wavelength and ask you about velocity, this is the only possible equation that it could be. Okay, so that's de Broglie. Uh, and then, finally, uh, we have this stuff that Ryberg did. And I'm going to mix this with the things that Bohr did, because they turned out to uh, have a lot of interaction. In your class, you may have also mentioned uh, the Balmer equation. Uh, Balmer and Ryberg are pretty much interchangeable equations, and I tend to prefer Ryberg. It's just easier to use, I think. So the Ryberg equation looks like this. E equals the, the change in energy equals the Ryberg constant, which should be given on your test, 1 over n initial squared minus 1 over n final squared. Okay? And you also should know that this is equal to hc over lambda. All right, how this works? Well, this works well with the Bohr model of the atom. So here's the nucleus. And then we have different orbits. 
So n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3. The lowest n is 1. This is n, your principal quantum number that you know from the end of the chapter. Well, what happens is uh, you can have an electron, say right here, and uh, let's say it falls down in energy level. Is the energy going to be given off or is the energy going to be absorbed? Given off. So you lose energy in what form? Light. Okay, so energy is lost when an electron falls, energy is lost. Uh, and when an uh, electron jumps up an energy level, that means energy had to go in in order to do that. So if it jumps up a level, you have to put in energy in order to do so. Now let's do a little sim simple calculation. Uh, change in energy equals, for this sample here, Ryberg constant, 1 over, and, and let's just take, I'll circle it, let's just take this example right there, the one I just circled. We had it, what's your n initial? It's 2, it's on the second level, and it goes up to the third level. So, and then your Ryberg constant, that should be given, I think it's 2.178 times 10 to the minus 18 uh, joules. So that's a constant. You just plug it in and there you go. You've got your change in energy. If you need the wavelength, you would just add on the second part of the equation. H and C are both constants. H is the uh, Planck's constant, 6.626 6 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. And C is, should be given also 2.9979 <coughs> times 10 to the 8 uh, meters per second. It's a velocity. So if those are given, you can solve for lambda or whatever. Now, uh, is this going to be a positive or a negative number in our case? Positive. Okay, so this is what you want to remember. When energy is going in, it's positive. When energy is going out, it's a negative. A negative means nothing else besides energy is given off. The positive means nothing else besides energy is put in. It's, it's meaningless as far as science. It's just a terminology we use to tell if it's going in or out. Okay. So there's the Broglie and Ryberg. Bomber equation does the same thing, but it ha always uses 2 as the n initial. So that's why I don't like it, because what if you're going between 3 and 4? So that's why I always use Ryberg. But you can feel free to use Bomber if you uh, think that one's fun. Okay.